104, can I have you respond code 2 to Sandy Shores, station 2, uh, fire EMS. I got a belligerent woman out here um, complaining about her cat missing. Uh, she just 10 50 with a vehicle trying to pull out. <laughs> her cat missing, what the heck? I kind of want to see this. Sandy Station, where is she at? Uh, Sandy Fire Station. Alright, they said some, something out of the station's going down. We're going to head over there. Ma'am, ma'am, settle down. Unit 1, you want to come grab her and pull her away? Yep, we'll do. She need to be detained or anything? 287, oh, this is a load of baloney. Isn't this just great? Alright, come over here, walk over here. Let's get some distance. Okay, guess so. What's Jesus. going on? What do you got? Alright, all right, so I've been I'm looking all over for my cat all night. Walking around town yelling, Snowflake, Snowflake, snowflake where are you? Uh, I saw on TV, you go to the firefighters, and you ask them now to find the cat. So I went to the firefighter, I asked them now to find the cat. Right? All night, they asked them, please, Dad, help me find my Snowflake. And he said, you know what? Us firefighters have more stuff to do than find your cat. I told her it's not the movies. So, uh, we have better things to so I told him I hope my cat likes fire. Are the kitty chasers. And then he was, I don't know well, what he said, he was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Society. I told you to go play with a fire hydrant and have it. fun. Um, and he just, you know, more. he's she just being him. Out of and, here and, and I just pulled out, I was coming out, I was like, fine, you used to this firefighter, I was going to come say hi to you guys, and you guys help me find my cat, maybe you guys would help. I pull out, I get hit by a car, a car drives off, and he doesn't do anything about it. And he stops me and tells me if I have something care, to drink. He thinks I'm a loaded dick and thinks I'm drinking. No, and I'm just missing my cat. Just trying to find Snowflake. Uh, I didn't smell it on her breath, but she's <laughs> okay. Um, I don't understand. She's, I, I understand. I have have you been drinking no at all today, for, uh, by any safety. chance? Oh, you too? Okay, I'm you too? Too? No, ma'am. I'm just, ma'am. No need to, no need to, to get wild. I'm. It's just a question. All right, we're no, gonna have I to restrain you if you continue to get belligerent. I just want to find my snowflake. I understand. We want to help you, but you can't yell at us. We're not gonna find snowflake okay. by yelling. That's gonna scare okay. snowflake. Okay. I didn't think about that. You got a point. So I went with maybe you should win a game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I you guys, calm down for me, please. What just calm hell? down for me. Oh my Take God. a deep breath. Calm it down. I'm sorry, I'm sweating okay. now. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, <laughs> this isn't a time I, what for I me. need. Okay. Just give me just a second here. Um, what what is going on here today? Why are you so irate? Okay, from the beginning, this is what happened. All right. I was up all night trying to find my cat. I was wandering around town yelling, "Snowflake, snowflake, where are you?" And I yelled at my neighbors for screaming. Just want to find my cat. I see in the movies. It's supposed to go to the firefighters, the firefighters have a cat, right? So I went to the firefighter and I was like, hey, nice guy, will you help me find my cat? And he said, you know what? Us firefighters have more important things to do than find your cat lady. This ain't the movies. So, I was like, fine. Go play with the fire hydrant, you're useless. And he was like, okay. And then, I come in to say hi to you guys, right? Because I figured if the firefighter ain't gonna help me find my cat, the police sure are, right? So then I get in my car, I pull out. I get hit by another car, that car flies off, flies off. I get back out, he asks me if I've been drinking. If I've been drinking? Are you kidding me? I've been up all night trying to find my snowflake, and he's asking me if I've been drinking. And then you guys all show up. Okay, um, so you hit a vehicle, and the vehicle no. drove off? No, no, the vehicle hit me, and then drove off. It was a pickup truck, I don't okay. know, Red. Yeah, well, I'm getting conflicting stories because the firefighter advised me that you hit the vehicle and then you tried to drive off, and then what? he stopped you from driving off. Now, how would he have stopped me from driving off? Oh, He's I have sitting no idea, outside of his fire truck. Ma'am, settle down. If you continue <laughs> to act like this, we're going to arrest you for take, disorderly conduct. Stop yelling. Take I'm some deep breaths, one okay? One warning only. <gasps> take some deep breaths. <gasps> We're gonna get Snowflake back. As I was back. explaining to you, as I was explaining to you, the firefighter told me his side of the story. I'm just trying to get your side of the story. 
I need to figure it's out what's wrong. going on. Obviously, I don't have the other vehicle here, so I have no idea what it what has gone on previous to me getting here. All I saw was when I got here, you guys were in an argument. So that's why you're separated, and I'm trying to figure out your side. I've got his side now. My side is all I wanted to was find my cat, and he's just being a butthead. Okay, ma'am, have you had anything to drink today? Oh my god, you're the third <laughs> one today. No, I haven't had anything to drink. I just want to find my cat. Just want to find okay. Snowflake. Ma'am, settle down. I'm going to tell you one last time, even though I already did give you my one warning. You need to settle down. <laughs> one you're one get last for disorderly extra, extra conduct. final you're warning. You're going to sit here and yell at me. You're going to go to jail sorry, if you continue to do that. Okay, so sorry, I'm going to, what I need to, okay, ma'am, I listen to you. Now I need you to listen to me. I'm going to ask you questions. I need you to answer them. If I have further questions, then I'll proceed with those. If I need to okay. get any information from you, go ahead and respond back to me. But we're going to handle this situation like civilized adults, and, and we're going to have an actual conversation. Okay. Are you under the influence of any illegal drugs, or are you supposed to be taking prescription drugs and you're not taking them? Anything like that? Any prescription drugs you shouldn't have taken that you have taken? Uh, no. Okay, because as of right now, um, you're showing all the signs and symptoms. Uh, indicators that you are under the influence. I'm looking at your eyes right now. They look like they're uh, bloodshot and watery. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just cross eyes. I have a lazy eye. Okay, <laughs> ma'am. Well, your your <laughs> eyes are indicating that you're under the influence. I'm looking at your pupils right now, and your pupils are quite constricted. Are you uh, are you under the influence? Do you take anything that would be a uh, depressant towards your nervous system? Do you even stay, no, at this point, do you, do you smoke marijuana? No, no, sir, never. Okay, all right. When um, I was like 16, I dabbled. Okay, well, <laughs> um, since we are here on the scene of an accident investigation, this is an implied consent state law, so I'm going to go ahead and have you transported to the hospital where we're going to draw blood on you. I'm going to okay, take Okay, man, I've just, just been crying all day because I did so uh, Okay. All right. Well, we need to we need to rule out the possibility that, that you're under the influence in the at this point. Um, roadway. Like I said, like we're going to take into Batman. account that you're in a what you determine to be a very serious situation because you've lost your cat, and I understand that you said you're crying. That may be the reason why your eyes look that way. But I need to rule out some things here, so I'm going to go ahead and have you transported to the hospital, and they're going to do a blood draw on you. Um, if they determine that you are under the influence at any point, you will have a warrant issued for your arrest and you will be uh, placed in jail at any time we do run into you in the future. So uh, just be advised that that could be a possibility. Um, do you have a description of the cat that you would like me to take down so we can try to locate that cat if we're out, out and driving? She's, uh, she, she's one of, she's hairless. She, she looks like, she's uh... Hairless? Yeah, she looks like, uh, like if you took a, a brown piece of, like, like a, a paper bag and you crumbled her up, but a cat. Okay, so she's <laughs> hairless, that, and she's brown and wrinkly. Yeah, 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 like a, like a okay. paper bag. And her bag name is up. Snowflake? That's, that's my Snowflake, you got it, you're listening. All right, I'll <laughs> listen to that information. Like I'll pass that information on to the animal control officers as well, and hopefully they'll be able to locate Snowflake for you. But they, at this they're time, they're not going to put one, it down, are they? If they locate her, it's Is your she property, chipped? ma'am. You'll, you'll get the cat back. Okay, okay. Does Is she, she have chipped? a chip? No, no, I can't afford that. No, I okay. found her under a garbage She has a collar, no, though, she right? Chipped. She wears a collar? Uh, No. When you say okay. that it doesn't have any hair, does it look like the one on Austin Powers? Like, like a brown paper bag, crumbled up. No hair. No hair at all. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Unit 1, if you want to go ahead and transfer, port her to uh, Sandy and just get a blood draw on her, I'll uh, have County Toe we'll just do. take her vehicle. And uh, we need to make sure she's not under the influence. No, never, never, never. I went for my father. Just be advised, I'm going to be taking the uh, camera footage from this fire station. If what the firefighter said actually happened, I'm going to be charging you with hit and run. So that just be advised of that. No, I was backing out in the car T-boned me. 
Okay, well, hopefully that's what the video shows. Unit 1, I'm good. It will be. Alright, follow me, ma'am. Dispatch okay. 341. Uh, oh, I hope you guys find Snowflake. Give me just a second, stand by. I pull a little We're right gonna put all resources all on this. There. Unit 1. Okay, good. Have yep. you ID'd her yet, Unit 1? Negative. Alright, you wanna hey, get her one? ID'd? Yep. You got some license on you, ma'am? Uh, no, I, I, yes, yes I do. Yes, it's in my car. It's in my car, though. Can I, can Where, I get wait, it? Where's your car at? It's, it's, it's the blue you one right here. you guys happen to have camera thing, footage yeah. that I can look at? Okay, uh, where is it in the car? I'll get it for you. Uh, honestly, it's, it's we, in the middle we have an implemented our security system. Yeah, yeah, we don't really have any issues now, out here, so. You know, a man should have a go through a lady's purse, but I'll let you do it. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just going to pull the purse yeah. out and we'll uh, put it right here on the back of this unit and we're just going to get your ID uh, out, okay? Your story, obviously, sure you thing, said sure, she yeah. backed into a vehicle. The other vehicle didn't stick around for whatever reason. And um, with the evidence at hand, I can't honestly prove that she did back into another vehicle. So um, without any hardcore evidence, I can't charge her with hit and run just going off of your statement because she's going to be able to go into court and make it a he said, she said situation. Um, if the other driver has stuck around and given us a statement, obviously I'd have more to go on. But without video uh, evidence, I can't charge her with that. Um, what I am going to do is, I believe she may, may be under the influence at this point. So I'm going to have her transported to the hospital and they're going to do a blood draw on her. And then that way Alright, you want to go ahead and get your license out of the purse for me? And if she is, we'll be issuing a sure, warrant thing, for sure, later. Guy. Alrighty, that works for me. Yeah, I mean, she tried to take off, and I kind of yelled at her and there told her to hold on, and she came back. Thank you very much. Yeah, Can you verify the name on this? If if um oh, she didn't she want to stop, she would have stopped her. No way you would have stopped her. So I don't know what that's all about. Can you verify your date of birth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. December twenty-first. Right. We're way too close here. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, I know I'm, I know I'm good looking, but I know I'm <laughs> The rocks right here, they're a little slippery. It's all right. All right. Let me, um, let's go ahead and push you in this vehicle. Sure thing, sugar. Dispatch unit one. Oh, it's not comfy in here. Go ahead for unit one. Here, 2729. Show a lady some respect. 122167 comes back. Uh, priors for disorderly conduct, as well as be advised she is a registered mental patient with Los Santos County. Copy that, dispatch. Yeah, that me. <laughs> it all, right, all adds uh, up. Yeah, it's all adding up. Ma'am, uh, be advised that we're going to be transporting your uh, vehicle to the county impound lot, and uh, you'll be able to pick it up from there. Unit 1, go ahead and okay. get her transported. I don't want to start another scene out here. What? Dispatch Unit What's 1, 1095, on? one female to um, so confused. Sandy Shore Station. Send for Unit 1, 1095, Sandy Station. All units be advised. Check, what are you thinking, mate? 